Good evening, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws, and welcome to the Slick Six Guns Network. And in this video, we are going to be talking about a history of the Ruger New Vaquero. That and more coming right up. Welcome all to my channel, I'm Slick Six Guns, and for those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, I'm here to promote the sport of cowboy action shooting as well as other western shooting sports. So if you're interested in stuff like that, stay tuned. What was going on in the 1950s was a resurgence of western film. You had a lot of young Americans who were watching the television and seeing these western films and invoking the inspiration of the tough cowboy and the good and the bad. The thing was was that it sparked a lot of interest in the single action pistols and the weapons that those cowboys used in the movies. What happened was Colt who had discontinued their single action army not too long before that and they didn't have their third generation come out until the 1950s. When that happened a company called Sturm Ruger actually came out with their own version of a single action pistol. That single action pistol was known as the Black Hawk. It was a single action pistol that had a different mechanism and was akin to being a more modern single action. Fast forward several decades later into the 1980s and you have the coming about of cowboy action shooting as a western shooting sport as well as a fantasy sport where we get none other than to handle the guns of the old west. A lot of people up until the 90s were using Ruger Blackhawks as well as Colt single action armies, originals, and some reproductions made by the Italian companies such as Uberti. Ruger saw a market in the cowboy action shooting game and what they decided to do was to get a little bit more involved in it by providing shooters with a sturdy pistol that could be used in competition but also reminisce on the age old single action army frame. And that's when they came out with the Ruger Vaquero. In 1993, the Ruger Vaquero came out in a 7.5 inch barrel and was chambered in 45 Colt. It was extremely popular with cowboy action shooters and many people loved it. It is often said that the Ruger New Vaquero is not really so much of a clone of the Colt Single Action Army as it is actually inspired by the Colt Single Action Army. The Ruger Vaquero introduced an extremely beefy frame compared to the Colt Single Action Army. It was a really large frame revolver that was meant to take extremely powerful rounds. Specifically what a lot of reloading books have called Ruger loads. Cowboy action shooters weren't really using these extremely powerful loads. They wanted to shoot rounds that would allow them to hit targets fast and with low recoil. The Ruger Vaquero saw some great service from 1993 all the way until 2003-2004 time frame when essentially they came out with the Ruger New Vaquero. And the Ruger New Vaquero was different from the original Vaquero in the aspect that the original Vaquero did not have the stainless finish. The original Vaquero came in as a blued barrel, blued cylinder, color case hardened frame, but the Ruger new Vaquero introduced more of the stainless steel look to it, which you see me holding in my hand. It's kind of supposed to be reminiscent of the nickel finish of some of the pistols back in the 19th century. And the Ruger New Vaquero was also chambered in other calibers. Unlike the Ruger Old Vaquero, which was mostly chambered in 45 Colt, the Ruger New Vaquero came in both 45 Colt and 357-38. The Ruger New Vaquero is also a smaller frame revolver. It is more akin to the size of the Colt Single Action Army, so much so it has been said that you can actually replace the grips on a Ruger New Vaquero with 
Colt single action army grips and with some minor fitting you're able to pretty much get them to fit as is. There are a few differences when it comes to the Ruger New Vaquero versus the Colt single action army. One, you're going to see that if you cock the hammer, the firing pin is actually not on the hammer. It's actually located within the frame. And the Ruger New Vaquero uses a system called the transfer bar safety system or the, just the transfer bar. The advantage to the transfer bar system in these pistols is the fact that you can actually carry six rounds in the cylinder as opposed to five rounds in the Colt Single Action Army and you can carry six rounds safely. The Ruger New Vaquero is also known as being an extremely sturdy revolver to include those of plus P ammunition. Ruger continues to produce these new Vaqueros, but they have also done some different variations in the past few years to include producing sheriff's models, which are three inch barrels. They've also come up with bird's head grips for their pistols, which normally they were just equipped with the plow handle for several years, but just recently, they have come up with the bird's head grip, also the Montado version, which is basically developed for cowboy mounted shooters. So the Ruger New Vaquero comes in three different variations, the standard plow handle, the Bisley grip or Bisley grip, which is basically meant for people with bigger hands, as well as for those who are meant more for target shooting. And they also came out with their Montado version, which is designed to be shot by cowboy action mounted shooters, which has a bird's head grip as well as a Montado hammer, which is a flatter hammer than their standard hammer. Overall, the Ruger New Vaquero sees a lot of action in the cowboy action and fast draw community. It is an extremely popular revolver and continues to this day with its sturdy reputation and with its history, we can for sure guarantee that we will be seeing these models and many others like it probably more in the future with better developments. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you're looking forward to the next video, I'll be seeing you on down the trail. Have a good one.